I'm Hannah Curry. I'm the director of That Joke Isn't Funny Anymore, which is a short film about my aunt who's sitting next to me and my uncle who has a brain injury um, that causes him to uh, forget things quite often, but one thing that he does remember is jokes. Um, and my aunt has been living with him for the 10 years since it happened um, and many years before that um, and it's really stuck by his side when a lot of other people haven't so I wanted to make a documentary about them. The film was shot in Ireland um, and we've travelled over to Cookalorris from Scotland um, and Lindsay from Ireland so uh, and I'm going to ask my aunt a little question about the film which I haven't asked her before um, which is yeah I kind of told my aunt I'm going to come and make a small film, it's for this little project and I think that you thought it was going to, that you were helping me out on a sort of small project and I would go away again and that would be it and then the film uh, won a BAFTA and then it went to New York City and now it's in North Carolina and hopefully it will go around the world. Um, what's your reaction to the, the reaction that the film's getting? <laughs> uh, it's a bit overwhelming to tell you the truth. Um, but I think uh, my husband is completely and utterly uh, delighted. Uh, he thinks he's going to be a global superstar. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm, I'm not going to burst his bubble on that one. <laughs> and um, I suppose for me, it's, it's difficult to see yourself on screen. It's particularly because I've got t several ranges of voice. <laughs> um, I, I tend to be a bit, uh, I use a lot of intonation and I, I go up and down in my, <laughs> my tone and uh, some people find that hilarious but uh, you know that's Indeeding. just, that's just, just me, that's what makes me unique, that's the way I express myself and um, I know that probably comes across in the film but for me I'm, I'm delighted that Hannah took the interest to make the film about Paul and I because what she said is absolutely the truth that when you have a, a brain injury you, you develop these kind of behavioural traits and despite yourself you cannot control them and they come out at the most inopportune moments uh, which can be exceedingly embarrassing at times and you feel like you just want to disappear into the woodwork but at other times it can be quite endearing because people can be so some people can be so understanding about it and really go out of their way um, to be uh, considerate and kind and, and, and to include Paul whereas the other side of that is that because he he doesn't look any different from any general man in the street. He hasn't got any physical disabilities. He hasn't got any tics. He hasn't got any kind of odd idiot idiosyncrasies per se, except that he tells these jokes when he starts getting tired or he has a drink on him. And then people who might have heard them the first time will go, oh, that's really funny. But then he's in their company the third or the fourth or the fifth time and they're like, oh my yeah. God, here we go again. And you see them drifting off into the kind of the sidelines. Yeah. And that for me is the hardest thing because it means he gets excluded and he doesn't get invited to things. And it's almost like, I don't know, like you're a social leper. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, basically, as well as being a story about two very, very lovely, endearing, hilarious people, it's also just a story that we hope will increase understanding of brain injury um, and make people more tolerant of people with brain injuries.